friends, I'm Felicia. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's a little bit dark, um, but we are in the season now when it just is dark early. I have a cat on my lap. She's being very cute. She usually doesn't do this. So um, I was going to go get up and get my tea before I started filming, but you know, now I just have to enjoy this cat on my lap while she's here. But before I start with the video, which is going to be my Victober TBR, I have to tell you a story. On Sunday, I was cutting out some stickers. I bought a sticker printable um, online. I was cutting out the stickers and I was using some crappier scissors, but I was like, yeah, whatever. And my finger started like feeling numb, but I was like, it'll go away once I'm done cutting the stickers. Um, no. So today is Tuesday while well, I film this and my fingertip is still a little bit numb. Apparently that can happen. I looked it up. It goes away after a few days and it feels better than it did yesterday. But like, it just, these two fingers feel so weird. I'm never using those scissors again. I might throw them in the garbage. Um, but yeah, so here we are. So I'm going to be telling you the books that I want to read in October, which is basically a Victober TBR because there's only a few books that wouldn't be considered Victorian literature that don't classify as that. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yesterday I went to the library and I picked up a couple books. I picked up The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware because I've been wanting to try out Ruth Ware for a long time. I may do this on audio, but I got the book while I was there um, because this was the only Ruth Ware book on the shelf. So I went with this one. Um, but yeah, there's some tape on here. But yeah, like I say, I'll pick that off later. Like I say, I haven't read any Ruth Ware, so we'll give it a try. What's your favorite Ruth Ware? I, that's a heart, Ruth Ware. Um, I know she's very popular. And then I also got uh, Pumpkin Hens by Rainbow Rowell. And yeah, I just wanted to read this because it's got those autumn vibes. So, you know, are you okay? Yeah, you're okay. Still burn. That might be a bit better light. Maybe not. I don't know. <sighs> Sorry if this is worse. I do look very pale. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways, so onto the Victober reads. Victober is a very beloved reading event in October on BookTube. And uh, it's basically a celebration of Victorian literature, which I am here for. So the hosts are Kate Howe. Um, Lucy the Reader and Katie at Books and Things. And there are challenges which I haven't even really looked at. I've watched a bunch of TVRs but I have not um, really looked at the challenges. So we'll go through that right now. Um, and I went through my Goodreads list and I wrote down in my bullet journal here um, a list of um, books that I have on my shelf that I haven't read that would be classified as Victorian. I will tell you this is a mess. Oh my gosh. I should just change my channel name to this is a mess. So the book that I know that I'm reading for sure for sure because I'm also reading it for my book club which is meeting in November is North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. So this will be my priority read. Now there's something in my eye. Oh this is really a mess. Dorm. Why? Yeah. Why? I bet the mic is not even picking up her squeaky little meows. Okay, so I'm going to be reading North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell, which I haven't read before. So I'm very excited to read this book. I have watched the miniseries, which was amazing. So I'm excited to read this. So this is like my priority read for the month. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, then uh, let's look at the challenges. Katie's prompt challenge challenge is to read a Victorian book that equates to your favorite modern genre. What I don't know what my favorite genre is. I have a lot. I guess I have The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. And I guess this one would probably be the closest um, from what I have on my TBR. It's like speculative fiction, right? Um, so yeah. 
I guess I'll read the picture of Dorian Gray. Lucy's challenge is to read a Victorian diary or a collection of letters. I don't have such a thing, so I'll have to skip that one. Kate's challenge is to read a new to you book and or short story by a favorite Victorian author. Well, I mean, so far my favorite Victorian author is Charlotte Bronte. And I have two books by her that I haven't read, but they are both quite bricks. So one is Shirley and the other is Villette. Shirley is like 700 pages. Oh, this is an essay at the back. Where does the actual book end? 655. And Villette ends at... Sorry, I'm just meowing at my cat. Um, 586. Am I trying to read this? I try to read Villette. Oh my gosh. Okay. Scary. I'll just add it to the TBR and yeah, we'll see. The Reader's Challenge. Read a Victorian book from a previous Victober TBR that you never got to or one you've been meaning to read for ages. That one is easy because I want to read The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins. I have this sweet old book. I don't even know when this was printed. This was printed in 1946. That is cool. Okay. So yeah. And it has illustrations in here even. So that is neat. So I'm going to try to read The Moonstone. I'm also like kind of in a mystery kind of mood. So there's that. <laughs> Group read along. Shirley by Charlotte Bronte. Well then maybe I should switch from Valette to Shirley, hey? Sure, why not? I'll read Shirley. That, okay. <laughs> Wish I'd seen that. Okay, so that's, <laughs> that's four books already. Four Victober books. Oh my. That's a lot of classics for me to read in one month. Um, and then there's also the Stitch and Listen, which is also um, Kate Howe and someone else. I'm sorry, I don't know who. And so the point of that, or yeah, that's like an opportunity to listen to an audiobook and do any kind of like needle craft. So I will be knitting or crocheting, or you could do cross, cross stitch, embroidery, anything like that while you listen to an audiobook. So I'm going to be listening to Two on a Tower by Thomas Hardy. I'm also going to be listening to the audiobook of My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier, which I have read before and love so much and I want to read it again. And there's a group of people that are um, reading it together. Um, my friend Rainy is one of them. And so when I found out, I was like, can I also be added? Because I actually want to reread this book. Um, and I want to listen to the audiobook again, because I have it. Um, and it's narrated by Jonathan Price, who you may know from such films as The Pirates of the Caribbean franchise and What a Girl Wants. I'm going to be listening to that one. So like along with the Victorian books, I also want to read things that are like kind of, you know, spooky and autumn -y. So I have on Audible the Monster Collection, which features... Uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Frankenstein, and Dracula. And I think out of those, um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is considered would be Victorian, but I don't think the other two are. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I want to listen to those books. So we'll see how that goes. I haven't read Dracula in like a decade, so I'm interested to read it again. I actually really enjoy Dracula. At least I did the first time I read it. I think that's pretty much it. I do also have David Copperfield, which is narrated by Richard Armitage. I have that. That's like almost 31 hours. So we'll see. In case anyone like remembers or cares, I had made uh, a list of 20 books that I wanted to read this year and I have decided to abandon that. <laughs> because I've only read half of the books on there and I just don't want to 
force myself to read them if I'm not in the mood for them. So I'm still gonna like try to read those books, but yeah. I even like made out kind of splitting it up for the rest of the year and it's doable. Yeah, here. I wrote it out like that and then I coordinated it with my highlighters. But yeah, there are like three books that I was supposed to read in September. And then there's um, several books in October that I don't want to read that don't fit in with Victor. Uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens. But anyway, so I've got these six books. I can count six books plus whatever audiobooks I <laughs> said. This is a mess. Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is a mess. But yeah, so we'll see how many of these books I actually read. Oh yeah, plus the other three that I want to listen to. It's on nine books. Plus the five books that I currently have going and would like to finish. Plus, oh yeah. I'm going to start reading the Avatar graphic novels again because uh, Chris and I recently finished watching through the show again. Let me know what you're reading in October slash this fall. What your plans are. I reorganized my shelves. So that was fun. That doesn't have anything to do with this video. Why do I bother with an outro? Because I'm just so terrible at it and I don't even know what I'm doing half the time. So thanks for watching. If you have thoughts, leave them down below about anything. I don't know. Whatever. Hope you have a really good day. Until next time, so long and thanks for the fish.